Hello, Jason. I think I've had a change of heart. Oh, quite. Me? Literally. Oh. The animal plant toxins had a rather unique effect on me. They replaced my blood with aloe, my skin with chlorophyll, and filled my lips. Mm. Oh. With the venom. Oh, and Jason, uh -huh. one other thing. Uh -huh. I probably should have mentioned this earlier. Uh -huh. I'm poison. I will get you. <laughs> I literally was in the middle of my intro and it my camera just was so disrespectful and just cut off like hey girl oh my god can i look like this every day like i'm kind of feeling it hey y'all welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know who i am my name is nicole marie so i'm poison ivy of course for halloween um i've been wanting to do this look for so long so long but it's just like i never got around to do it can never find a costume um, it's mainly the makeup. I don't have the actual costume. I'm just wearing a black top right now, but you know, you can find your own costume. I don't get Um, I haven't been filming in a while. Recently moved to my own place. I'm going to have a makeup room, which I'm really excited about. It's totally not complete right now. It's empty, boxes everywhere. Uh, I have a lot to do. Um, uh, moving is very stressful, but I mean, I'm I'm liking it. It's kind of lonely, but giving me more time to focus on makeup and making more videos and content. And so I'm excited for what the future has in store. If you guys don't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. And I hope you like this video. I hope you like this look. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let's get start it okay so all i have on my face right now is maybelline fit me foundation the infallible foundation and i colored in my eyebrows a little bit but we're going to be doing them of course red later on so first starting with the eyes i'm going to of course prime them with the mac ochre paint pot so i'm just going to apply that to the eyes be taking this green eyeshadow by Morphe, it is called Nature's Calling. This is my Morphe M441 brush. I will be applying this color to the crease of the eye. And this is a really green shade. Definitely Poison Ivy vibes for sure. Blend this out, take little by little, keep adding more and more. Blend it out. I swear there's a cat outside my window or something and it keeps making noises. Do you, do you guys hear that? Crazy. Morphe E22 brush. Going in with Nature's Calling, I will be applying this to the end of the eye as well. Like a V out of V shape just bring it in and blend it all together just want to add some more color so now i'm taking this nyx shimmer shadow it's a nice green this color is by nyx cosmetics it's called jaded like this very nice green I'm actually going to be applying this with my finger. The rest of the eye area. With the Morphe brush and just blend it all together. This is a very simple eye look, of course. Now to clean up the eyebrow area, I'm going to be using one of my favorite techniques right now, which is Eyelore's Brow Luminizer Pencil. We're just gonna go like this, underneath the brow, 
It makes it look really clean, especially if you haven't gotten your eyebrows done in a while. Look at that. It looks so clean, right? So much cleaner. I'm going to do this part really fast because I've done it a million times. So this is the Maybelline Neutralizer Concealer. I like to use for highlighting. Put it in all the major areas. Get a beauty blender and blend it out. like I used a really light foundation today and then a really light concealer to darken things up a bit I'm going to be using my NARS creamy radiant concealer radiant creamy concealer we're just gonna put a little bit on each side I'm running out we're just in a hurry to do the basics so we can get more to the poison ivy pore things now I will be setting everything with my Laura Mercier setting powder and my beauty blender. A nice clean sharp edge with the eyes. So I'm going to put setting powder right here. Like that. So we're just going to let that sit. I will be using my Lancome Duo Stick using the dark side to contour, of course. I'm also going to do the nose area. Don't worry about the rest of your face because we're going to be applying green shadow everywhere now I will be dusting away everything using my morphe r13 brush we're gonna just dust away that powder let's blend the nose taking my pencil brush this is my morphe e 36 brush. I'm just going to be applying this underneath the eye with some of the NYX eyeshadow. So we're just going to be applying this underneath the eye to create a little smoky eye effect. Now time to bring these beautiful eyes to life. I will be using my favorite lashes my eye lower lashes and I will be applying these off cam if you want to see how I apply false lashes I do have a video so you can check that out oh how lashes give you life I swear so I'm just using Estee Lauder mascara for the bottom and top lashes liner I will be taking the Emerald City NYX eye and eyebrow cons uh, sorry pencil and just put it in my waterline just to make it more green we are going to be applying green shadow everywhere not everywhere but everywhere so I'm taking this elf angled blush brush and I'm just going to be applying it in my hairline area over here and just giving it a nice blend. So as you can see, this is a very easy way to apply a lot of shadow in a large area. Trying to get it in the hairline area as well. Now 
now I'm going to take that darker color and apply it to that area as well. Put a nice shimmer. I don't want to apply it all over my face, so I just want it in these two areas right here and then this lower face area right here. So I'm going to be applying it like this. And just put it down to your neck. I also wanted to apply this to my collarbone just to make it look like there's a lot of green in places like random places but not all over my body and then this part we're just going to put it on the boot like kind of the boob area like that this I want to blend out more so I'm going to take a beauty blender and just kind of blend it. Now I'm going to take the shimmery shade and apply it there as well. More so towards the ear area. Maybe get it a bit on the ear. I feel like this is going to be so hard to take. The Emerald City NYX pencil. We're going to be drawing some like vine like with some leaves. to look like a natural thing so I'm gonna blend this with the beauty blender Definitely need to make this more poison ivy-ish. So what better way to do that than to add some red eyebrows, of course. Taking this MAC lip pencil cherry to make the eyebrows red. Just gonna brush this in. Then I'm just gonna blend it a little. Beauty blender. Okay, so for some finishing touches, I added some earrings because I was feeling a little plain Jane. Um, I want to add some more red for this look because I feel like Poison Ivy is a lot of red and green. And I feel like I have too much green. I kind of look like an elf. So I'm going to put some red into the water line. The finishing touches, we're going to be doing the lips. So I'm going to be outlining the lips with this red color. Now for the lip color, I'm going to be using this red 
lipstick called the name is Dahlia by Crystal Heart Cosmetics. I am obsessed with their formula. It is completely amazing. They're not a huge brand, but <coughs> they have quite a bit of following on social media. Their formula is amazing. I recently got a coupon code with them, which I'm very excited about because I first tested out their products, fell in love with it. They asked if I wanted to join their affiliate program. I was like, of course, duh. They sent me more lipsticks. And so yeah, I will put my coupon code in the description box, but it's Nicole Marie if you are too lazy to look. So let's just apply this lip lipstick. It's a matte finish. Oh yes. I know where we can go where the sunrise lasts forever. And it's all you and me. We'll kiss the sky. I'm obsessed with this color. Yes, give me fucking life. Chola Poison Ivy. Thinking if I should put some of this in my eyebrows just to make it more red. I'm just gonna use a smudger brush to like color it in a little bit. I'm gonna comb this in. Other than that, I think we are like good to go. Like Halloween's at night, thank God. So if it's not perfect, then who cares? Now let's finish this up with some highlighting. I'm gonna be using Becca Cosmetics Opal. I think she had highlighter back then. Why sounds so ugly? Yeah. Highlight down the bridge of that nose, though. We're gonna highlight up here, too, though. And right here, though. Now, time for a little Paquito. Paquito blush. I'm gonna take my Morphe palette and use this color right here. This is the natural <coughs> blush palette. Whoa. Just kidding. <laughs> See? Paquito blush. I don't think I missed it. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. My version of Poison Ivy. I hope you like it. The only thing I'm really not feeling is these eyebrows, but I'm just not used to it. This is my finishing look of Poison Ivy 2017 Big Girl Halloween look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I kind of wanted to fly through it because, I mean, who has time to sit there for like two hours? So I literally did this probably in like 30 minutes. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter say hi don't be a stranger see you in my next video thank you guys for watching and happy halloween